welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video it is another mustang i have decided to do three mustangs in a row so the first one you guys know was that team transport which is right here and the second one will be this 1968 ford mustang gt release 65 2021 2023 it, sorry 23 is the number of the casting used for this model so just like I did the Super V and a few other of the uh, muscle cars, this the new releases for their M2 by cast line is characterized like this. So it'll have the Ford GT, the car, obviously Ford again, the 8 plus 7250 pieces worldwide, GT again, Ford, no mention of Mustang. So I'm just going to bring that up. You guys know how it looks. It's a Mustang, but there is no mention of Mustang. And again, Ford, Ford. M2 details like no other, their usual stuff, and this is exactly the, uh, the reverse side, except it's the back of the car, and as you guys can see there, it says 1968, which I do really insist M2 just start throwing that everywhere uh, on their license plates, because it doesn't make sense not to, and as you guys can see here, it's a little bit damaged, it is cardboard after all, it's not going to last forever, so just the bottom of it. It simply says for 2021, so it's last year, obviously. You guys know that from the release number there. And they give you the small parts and not suitable for children under three years, but it says eight plus there. And not intended for highway use. Buying one M2 may lead to more purchases and eventual collection. And it repaints like no other. I brought that up several times where there's no, appears to be no standardization, uh, but they will re release casting so you can't tell if it's new or not new but anyway scale 164 die cast body real chrome bumpers uh, rubber tires we all know that because this is the marketed as a premium brand and there you guys go cast line inc 2021 registered trademark and there is the facebook and i think it's instagram and made in china and everything else again are all rights really registered this and that and then here you guys have the production serial number for this vehicle, 2021, the 8th day, and the 1527-270R. So, without any further delay, let's get this out. So what I just did is peel the sticker right off, so that it opens all at one side. I decided to do this side first. Pull it out from the back. Shove this over there, put this over there. And as you guys can see, the Ford panoramic back for, as you guys know, it fits right into the base there. So, and here we have the Ford Mustang GT. And you guys know that the, yeah, you can see how much of a struggle it is to get that left door out for whatever reason, M2. And the right door actually doesn't want to open either. I have already shown you guys how to do it, so I will not do that again. I will do it later on my own time. Because I will do it on my own time. I will, though, however, get it off its base. Because I want to get it off its base. It is interesting that they make it really modular slash fixable, but then you end up having to do it because they did so many things right and wrong. I'll bring that up a little bit later. Anyway, these are very long screws for some unknown reason. As you guys can see there, how high the car goes to get off the base, it is ridiculously long. I don't know why. So here we have it. It is fine. Look how long they are. So anyway, I will leave that upside down. You guys know it's a Ford Mustang GT. It is not special in any way. It's not a 429. It's not a 302. I already have the doors open. I will leave the doors open. Uh, you guys can look very plainly into the cabin there. Looks a lot similar to that one over there, which is 1969. And so there you have just indents. Usually they do have them different color, like M2 will paint them, but apparently they have decided not to do that for this one. And it is the whitish type interior. You can see all four seats. The doors share the uh, front of the two-piece uh, side windows. 
obviously the car is made with the windows down like pretty much every other manufacturer except for one i'll bring that up later when i do it and so there you guys have the right and the left side gt written on the side there printed quite plainly reasonably easy to read it's the sparkly type green paint so from the front the windshield appears to be slightly tinted which is an odd choice because you guys can see clearly into the car it's mostly a white but if you look into the front it appears like it's beige so i think that's the first time i've ever seen that uh just start from the front i guess now that we've seen the interior everything matches up and what i mean by that it's a straight line there are a couple of vehicles i saw out there where this is not lined up whatsoever uh, you can see the door handles nice and clearly painted because they do actually happen like i don't like this how it's not but it might be authentic who knows like i there you go the hood the scoop here is painted the same and it's just imprints the defroster there you can see clearly separate painted windshield wipers in the front you have inserts for lights painted over there the ford symbol nice and clear in the middle there so they've done at least this is way better than i have a 1965 green light from the pan america this is definitely done way better than that uh with separate parts then we're going to just go to the underside the wheels let's just take a look at the wheels to make sure they are all nice and even they seem to want to roll i will do the roll test for sure it is a ford want to take it for a drive uh, GT again on the side there and there clear appears to be no excess yeah, look at that nice and smooth no grinding no wobbling nice and smooth so at least with this Ford they've decided to get that sort of their act together just the rear of the car finally you have the 1968 on the plate nice Ford emblem sorry the GT it's not the Ford emblem sorry it just says Mustang up there not quite as clear but it is legible you can see the letters gt in the bottom there 1968 all the lights there actually is just one piece bolted in between the uh back here you guys can see the cutout kind of visible there you have the two exhausts 1968 which is what i wish they did for all of their cars green light as well and hot wheels why not mattel why not throw them here too 1968 Ford Mustang, nothing about the GT, 2021 cast lightning, can be in China. There's the exact same number as we saw to match the box. And you do have the part here that is separate from the bumper. The bumpers fit into there. You have the one screw because of the pivot pin I showed you guys last video. You have the transfer case is filed down. So I've brought up with a few other green lights where this is a little bit bulgy. You have M2 written nice and plainly up there. Sorry, uh, stamped in nice and plainly. You have everything else. The detail reasonably done well. Gas tank in the back there. And what else? I will not be taking this apart, so don't worry. I will take it apart to fix it later. I will not take it apart now. The only thing that we have to cover is just the engine. And let's see, guys, this and gals, this is what I mean by M2 not standardizing. Look how nice the hood opens, and it stays. I fought it a little bit, but once I put it in the upright position, it's not fighting me anymore. And as you guys can see, the doors now want to open. So I don't know what to say. Maybe when it's up, it gives enough space for the doors to open. Yeah, I think that's what happens. If I put the hood down, it's gonna it's gonna fight me. So I will not fight the car. I will just go ahead and show you guys the engine. It looks really nice. Like okay, so there are some metal silver uh, metal pipes on the side with the engine in the front. It gives you the false ap the appearance of it being a V. Sorry, not it is a V engine, but you can see that they've pieced it together which is actually really nice it's the first time i've seen it like this i am hoping with the next model that i do for this three-parter it's going to be extremely similar if not the same and as you guys can see it is done almost flawlessly here there is no overall uh, there's multiple parts here and none of them appear to be where they're not supposed to be it's painted all properly there's a bit of a gap you can see i'm pushing there but other than that it looks really nice Hood opens really well, 
excellent detail. And so there you have it. Nem 2 has finally gotten most, if not all, of their act together, for at least for this one. That you can see is on a little bit of angle. There's no rear view mirrors. Always bring that up. There is no spoiler, but that is not, like I said, intrinsic to the Ford Mustang. There's many models of the Mustang. Like I said, this is not a 429, not a 302. It is just the GT. Nice and shiny. No obvious paint mispaints. Sorry, no mispaintings. Like I said, you can clearly read the GT there. G over the T. Mustang right above it. There's a bit of a gap between the stamping, but I can forgive it because it's done other than that really well. So, there you guys have it. Ford Mustang GT from M2 Castline. This is the 2021 release. It's Thomas from Toronto. Thank you guys for watching. And until the next one.